everybody, it's Happy Mail Queen. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to finally be able to do another video. It's been pretty crazy the past uh, couple of weeks, I would say. Um, I'm now fully decorated, um, the house is anyway, um, except, except for my craft room, which is still a crazy mess. So I don't know that I will even decorate my craft room. For the holidays but at least everything else is up so i've been busy with that and holiday shopping and wrapping gifts oh my goodness you guys so anyway i do have another design team project for scrap diva designs uh i wanted to share this die again here which um is the memory decks card it's the marshmallow memory decks card marshmallow cup um, however she um, is still awaiting um, some of the dies uh, the manufacturer I think only sent her her partial order so this is still on the way so please don't fret um, she will have this restocked hopefully soon um, but I wanted to go ahead and just share um, that video with you or my video sharing this uh, product here and then I also got to play with the bells so she does have this in stock um, it's really cute it's really fun I do um, I did enjoy putting this together so let me go ahead and share what I came up with so here is my marshmallow cup memory decks so I kept it pretty simple I started out with a uh, uh, 80 pound or I don't know if it's a 100 pound cardstock um, in pink and then I really love this paper that I had used recently um, and this is a uh, the DCWV confetti from Joann's I love the stripes on this one and I wanted my handles to be striped and I wanted to keep the marshmallow all white except for of course the chocolate that is dripping down i love this right here so i did use um, some foam this is um, the darkest brown foam that i have and um, and then i went ahead and put glossy accent over it and that's how you get the shine and i love doing that because um, it just makes it look more realistic and then um, i did cut out the die the die has um, the cup and then the marshmallow layering on top and then it also has the teeny tiny marshmallows with the frosting on top and I made my marshmallows pink just uh, to you know um, you know just make it um, stand out a little more and then my candy cane is pink and white and then I decided to do some gold accents since this paper has some um, gold stripes on it. So I did my saucer uh, gold. I put some jingle bells and some um, um, uh, really thin ribbon, light uh, pink ribbon. And then I went ahead and just put, I'm loving using this tinsel right now. And I think I got this from Hobby Lobby and um, you know it's um it's yarn but you know it has the tinsel on it and it's so pretty and iridescent and i just love using it on my project so just to give it a little more extra on there and so there it is isn't she adorable i love it so there is my cup oh and i forgot that this die set here also comes with the little spoon so i did go ahead and add that to my project sorry about that you guys so there is my spoon i cut it out in gold cardstock just to you know match the saucer i put this cute little gingerbread which is part of a sticker from michael's put a little bling heart bling here because it does have a little heart right here um, that it's embossed um, it doesn't cut it out but um, there is a little heart embossing on there so I just put it over there and then I just added this little snowflake over here just um, you know to just add a little more to it so there it is you guys <laughs> sorry about that I forgot to share the spoon um, initially but there it is okay so moving along using the bell I did create a couple of projects so here is a card 
and I finally cut into my recollections um, this one right here the silent night and it's so pretty and I love this paper and um, I chose the one with the poinsettia this is one of the cut aparts and I thought it'd be cute to go ahead and put the bells there and then I cut out the jingle bells in silver and the blue like kind of a tealish blue background I was trying to match this this was the closest I can get to um, this um, kind of a bluish teal color um, and it's just so pretty and then I use this um, holographic paper from um, again DCWV and this is a lifesaver because I ran out of the you know the nice silver foil cardstock the, the the mirror finish I love that one I have the silver one from Michaels but it's more like a like a matte silver and I don't really like it <laughs> so um yeah this is the one I love but I ran out so anyway I love the holographics and then here's that tinsel again and then I did actually put a bell because it does say jingle bells I didn't have two of these otherwise I would have put two um, but I wanted to use the bell um, bell shaped jingle bells so anyway there's that and then this is a shaker so I do have some bits in there just um, some snowflakes in different colors and then the inside looks like that I just matted it with the same paper so it's so pretty I love it and um, this was fun and easy to put together with um, some foam again because it's a shaker so there's that and then with the larger bells because remember the set comes with the small bell and the larger bell um, I went ahead and again using that same paper I did um, put another card together and this one was really fun and and um, easy because um, I used the cut aparts again um, this one right here but I kept um, the four squares together so here's how the cut aparts come out and I kept the four and I thought it, it was just nice to um, put the bell right in the center of it and then I used um, again um, this is from her uh, from Scrap Diva Designs the bow oh this is such a must-have if you guys um, you know have to pick up a die I would recommend this one because I haven't seen anything like it with the snowflakes and you get a lot for your buck so um, anyway it's a shaker again and then I just put that bow that I had already made and remember these bows that I had um, shared on my last video and there's the smallest the tiniest one there and again keep in mind you can layer these just if you haven't picked this one up this is just one of my favorites I love it so um, you can layer it like that super cute right and you can put this on your gifts isn't that a pretty presentation but yeah I used a small one here and I didn't put um, the tail on this one um, I just um, also added some bling and then the inside looks like that and then the back looks like that I used another um, snowflake snowflake paper from the collection and there's that so those are my projects for today and um, go ahead and check out Scrap Diva Designs. Um, I will leave the link in the description box and if you're interested in any of these dies, um, go ahead and check it out and make sure you use my coupon code for 10% off your purchase. All right, guys, thanks for watching and stay tuned. I do, I'm trying to catch up on my videos, you guys, because I've been gone for a few days, um, you know, from YouTube but um, yeah I have lots of a few hauls <laughs> so I'll talk to you guys later see you in my next video